we were talking yesterday, you had more than 10 years gap after coming back. The kids, <laughs> kids. I used to play while I was pregnant, and that's really hard, because I talked about huddle, right? Huddle is your core, and you need that power. Well, okay, sorry young women who someday want children. Your stomach muscles split apart as you get bigger, as the baby gets bigger. And, it, and you can feel the space. Um, so it does come back. It takes a while, maybe a long while. <laughs> but um, that split, it was so weird. I know Naoko played when she was pregnant too. You lose that power and suddenly it's just your arms flailing around. It's such a different um, physical feeling. I feel so sorry for all you men who just can't have babies, you know, because it's amazing. Um, but, and then when I had my babies, I brought them to performances, and you see we have Mark today, and we have Skylar today, children of our performance, and they're going to smile and shake the flag, so give a hand to these little kids. <laughs> All right, so, I think it's time to start, but I want you all, not this song, but after a couple songs, we exert a lot of energy, and it's hard for me to speak. So you better think of questions so I can have a breathing breath, a time to, so think of good questions. All right, first song is Naku, and thank you for all coming, and I hope you enjoy this festival. Thanks.
so it's just fun, um, a little more dancey. So a lot of the pieces that we do are from my type of group in Japan, in Spanko, and they're more driving, they're forceful, strong, and we had mostly um, men in our group, and then a few of us women teaching English joined, and then some Japanese women joined because they saw the women joining. I think that's a nice statement to inclusion. We don't always think about that. Um, and it's something I didn't really think about growing up in a small town. Um, I, up to that point to be there, I thought I looked like everyone else. But once I moved to that small town, people were like doing this and calling me chink. And I had no idea, like, what? Yeah, why? So I didn't know I looked different. Um, you know, so it's kind of hard sometimes. So I think if, if you're the majority, you don't really realize that, right? Because you don't have those experiences. And I've noticed as I get older, the people joining my classes, older women are coming in. I'm like, wow, that's another example of representation. We just don't realize it um, unless it happens. You know, I was, I was a young person for many years, so I didn't think about that. Um, so it's really cool now to see how that affects the makeup of anything that you're in. Um, and these, wait a minute, yeah, I said we have all women today. We do have some guys in our group, um, so guys, you can be in the classes and you can, you can, this was a man's realm, right? Just men doing taiko. So I'm so happy that we can do this and we have people in the Midwest. We are the only Tycho group in Nebraska, and we feel really fortunate to be able to share our cultural art with you all. So thank you, and this is Kiryu, Flying Dragon.
a lot of kiai, kakegoa, shout outs. Um, you'll use that in a lot of martial arts too. Uh, that's just part of it. Japanese culture, right? There's also ma, which is so important. The space in between. And we have some songs where that's really pronounced. So this next piece is called Hakai, and it means ocean wave. Uh, let's see, can we bring one drum down here? No, no, one of that. Can I have that little drink? <laughs> yeah, this one. Thank you. To the middle, over there. All right. Okay, let's trade this out because um, this is kind of high. So we'll let Debbie be on here if she wants. All right, we got space. Can you step back? So there's some differences in this song. We have a lot of crossover, it means ocean wave. We have Kat there who's doing accessory pieces, which includes chan chiki. So Kat, can you show them that? Can everyone see? It is just a cannon, and it's a stick with a deer antler on the end, which is very cool. The deer antler, I guess, gives it a good tone, but uh, traditional. And she will also be whapping. So it signifies the peak of the wave. Uh, somebody asked her, I guess, yesterday, what is that thing? It's a futon mataki. So it's to whack your futon. Uh, in Japan, you have to hang up your futon, right? Uh, in the sunshine, because it helps kill bacteria, it, re it freshens it up, and you can whap out the dust and maybe dust mites? I don't know. <laughs> but that's what that is. And in this song, uh, we have Anna who will be doing juchi. So you saw a lot of juchi, and that's just it looks really easy, right? You're just keeping the B. You don't gotta move around a lot. So in that sense, it is maybe simpler, but it is so important because this keeps the pace of the songs and we need someone who has really good rhythm um, to keep everyone together. And then this is very high pitch, so everyone can hear it over the bigger chu daiko. So this is called shime daiko. Shime means to tighten or to tie, and so this is how this head is tightened with this uh, metal mechanic here. You just use a wrench. And it's so cute and little. And when it's packed up in our bag, people will be like, oh, we can help with that little one. And like, Ooh. <laughs> How much do you think this weighs? Yes. 35, a little higher. 45, yeah. Which, you know, it's so it looks small, but this metal is pretty heavy. And those are maybe 50, I don't know. Um, yeah, so this is a song. But I need you all to say, think your questions after we're done. Please. Thank you. Oh, and you might wonder, why do we have extra bocce in, the, in our bags? I'll tell you later why we have extra bocce. All right.
as a great example, this drum doesn't have the extra bachi. Where's the extra bachi? Okay, no, I just have that. So you see, now who couldn't use that extra bachi? That happens sometimes. Uh, bachi will fly out. I sometimes will tell the front row people, just be ready to catch it. I might even go to the second row. Sometimes, bachi, do this while you're playing. I think, I think it's only happened to me, but. So it's usually on this song, it'll be at the end, or midway, and I'll notice I have a half of a bachi, so I can just grab that extra. So that's always nice, because you don't know. Um, it's actually shot out to the back, shot out to the side. So mine haven't broken towards the front. It's a little scary. <laughs> Anyhow, another thing that might happen is, well you saw Naoko last year. Yesterday I lost mine. Um, I've had, I've hit my fingers before swollen up. I told you yesterday, you know, I had to have it drilled in the nail and they let that blood out and it feels so good. It just squirts out like a whale. It's pretty cool. <laughs> But I like that kind of stuff. So, um, do you have any quick questions? Oh, yes. Do any of your shouts out, or do they mean anything, or not necessarily? So, usually the shouts don't really mean anything. Um, we might say sore, which means and then or next. But a lot of times they're just giving out the energy. It's a good point in the song to um, let that key flow. So, that's a great question. Thank you. Yes. Oh yes, these are called teko. Does everyone remember what te means? Te means hand. So teko are just wrist wraps um, in Japan. You'll see construction workers wearing these along with tabi, our toe socks or shoes. But these were worn by working people to keep their sleeves from getting caught in machinery. Um, and now teko groups wear that. They usually wear at least traditional ones, also a harakake. It's like an apron, it has many pockets. Sometimes our group will wear that. Uh, yeah, it's all kind of cool that it comes from the working man, a lot of the old parts. Okay, so, I guess I don't want to hit the curtain today and then lose my bachi, because I'm thinking too much. Okay, yes? Where do you normally perform? Oh, where do we normally perform? Wherever you want us to. Yes, we don't advertise, but the really cool thing is we've been asked to perform at weddings. Um, we had a slew of Vietnamese weddings once, because I think one person saw us and thought that was pretty cool, so we went to many after that. Uh, we've done graduations, we've done backyard barbecues. That was amazing, because we got to eat the food afterwards. <laughs> uh, yeah, and we do, oh, libraries. The first time Lincoln Libraries asked us to play, I said, do, do you know what we do? <laughs> um, we had an invite to play in Morrill Hall by a college for their, it was their formal dance. And then I got a call later by the woman who booked us and said, Morrill Hall learned that we were having you, and they said, no. You can play outside, but not inside, because our fossils and our bones will disintegrate. <laughs> Right, we talk about vibrations. Uh, we've done daycares, we've done retirement homes. Just anything you can think of. It's, it's so fun. Um, you can, actually you can clap along to this song. This is called Miyake. And it's a sideways lunging song. So we'll have you clap along with our G. So the G has a skipping, fun beat. Do you want to show really quick? Go, 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 go.
but so thank you two for helping us. Oh, you have to wait, but you can go to the side. Ask me later. Yeah, I'll <laughs> It's so cute. When I had to take my kids the first time uh, that I ended up with my daughter when I thought I had a babysitter, we were performing at a school, and I was like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? She was a baby, so I bought the pack and play. You know, I'm trying to unpack everything with her on my hip, and I thought, oh gosh, she's the other daughter who cried if she couldn't see us in the house, in the room. So I was like, what am I going to do with her? And the principal came, and she's like, oh, a baby! And she picked up that baby, and she held the baby the whole time. I was like, oh, well, I guess I can take my baby anywhere we perform. So if you're lucky you don't have a baby today, because one of you might end up watching it. <laughs> So thank you all for coming. And I really have to thank Omaha Sister Cities for all the work they do to put this together. And Lords and Gardens, they do a great job. I mean, this has been decades that we've been performing. So we appreciate all your support and the organizations that bring us here. So, gozaimasu. Oh, and we're gonna be seated. So if you can't see us, go ahead and stand up or come close, come around. Just don't go directly behind us because we're gonna be swinging our bachi.